Hi, this is Darcy from That Geekish Family. Welcome to my channel. Um, by to the, the view of what you're seeing right now is a hint about what our video is going to be about today. We're going to the Universal Studios Orlando and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm a little more excited about that second part um, because I'm such a big Harry Potter fan. And if you want to travel along our um, adventures, hit the subscribe button below and you can tell somebody's just a little excited about the trip. And you can find out all about our travels and what it was like to go to the parks. What I'm going to show you today is our park bag. Um, I have two teenagers, so I don't really have to do a park bag that is like um, the other families where you have to carry around all the diapers and snacks and um, all that kind of stuff for kids. So um, this is just a generic uh, park bag filled with the things that we need for the day, which we try to keep it to a minimum. Um, I love this Harry Potter icon bag because it's so cute. It's a cinch top um, with a flap. It does not have a water bottle um, pocket on the side, which is the one drawback I really don't like about it. It's not rigid like most book bags are. It's just fabric um, and it's lightweight and really, really super easy for me to carry. So let's get started on what's on the inside. In the front flap, I keep those things that I need to get to pretty easily and consistently. The first thing is my wallet. Um, I don't carry a big full-size wallet to the parks with me because I just don't think it's necessary for me. So on the inside, um, this is just a little uh, zip wallet that I can carry my credit cards, my license, my insurance card, some cash, and change. Um, and it can go in my pocket or um, uh, put that money back, thank you very much, magic hand. Um, it can go in my pocket to keep it handy or it can go in my book bag and this it doesn't take up much room at all. The next thing on the bag in the pocket is um, my uh, little immediate bag that I need to have. I have on the inside is um, lip balm, which is just like a little lipstick version of a lip balm that's just clear and it's easy for me to put on because my mouth gets so dry during the day I have to keep, I have to keep some. The next thing is my asthma spray to have handy immediately in case I ever need it. Um, the next thing are my clip-on glasses because I wear prescription glasses all the time and never did uh, get them done for, um, never got a second pair of sunglasses. I just keep the little clip-ons. <clears throat> and the next thing in the ba bag is my lanyard. Now I may not wear this lanyard all the time. Um, it's my Ravenclaw lanyard because, you know, I am a proud Ravenclaw, right there. Woo! Um, but it's something that I can keep my park pass in and my Hogwarts ticket in to, to go between the parks and my room key. So I can just pull it out quickly and I can choose to wear it if I want. Um, and the last thing on the inside is our sunscreen. Um, we'll apply it in the mornings before we leave if we need it. Um, but I also have some that we can just quickly put on if we find that we need some more. Um, okay, I think that's it for the for the front packet. Now to my little quick tip. When you go to the parks, um, you have to go through security at all the parks now um, where they have to look inside your bag to make sure that everything on the inside is okay. But what they need to do is they need to see inside all of the bag. So it makes it hard if you've got a lot of little pouches um, because then they need to see inside of all the little pouches. So I had this idea um, that I saw at some point but I can't remember where um, to put all of your stuff inside of one big plastic b bag that you will then use later for things like putting your electronics in or putting wet clothes in if you ride the water rides. Um, pulling it out for security so they can see inside that bag let them look inside your bag, shove it all back mm -hmm. in, and when you get inside the park, then you can rearrange it as you need to. So, before I get to that part, I forgot. Here is our hand sanitizer in the flavor Fresh. Um, from I got this from the Dollar Spot in Walmart, the little travel section. And the next thing is uh, my water bottle. I keep a little carabiner on it so that I can attach it to the outside of my bag if I'm not if I'm using it or want to um, air if my bag's full of other stuff. Um, and since you can't take water into the park, they do allow you to take plastic bottles. Um, they can't have anything in them, but no glass bottles. Okay, 
Now here's when we pull out the bag. So I can yank out this bag completely for the security guards. Let them see what's on the inside. Let them pop open the bag. They can get a quick peek on the inside and then there's nothing else there and, and go. Um, and something I forgot to point out, this bag on the inside has a little pouch here, which I will be taking Harry and Snape with me because I run an Instagram account called Wandering Snape, which is a Harry Potter Funko centric um, Instagram account. And they want to go and take selfies of their travel travels to uh, the Wizarding World. It also has a couple of more pouches right here to put other things that I might need quick access to. Okay, inside of the main part of the bag will be um, all of our little extra organized things. This is our first aid bag. And on the inside of it, um, I have um, a little bag with all of our bandages. Um, it has band-aids and antiseptic wipes. Um, it has some gauze pads and it also has moleskin, which is a blister cover that you can do. Um, if you have a bigger blister or if you have a couple of them, you can actually cut this to fit your um, blister the way you need it to. The next thing, the next thing inside the bag is our pill bottle, um, a pill box actually what I do is, um, we have um, what we need for Advil, Tylenol, Tums, some ginger capsules in case I get some morning, si uh, not morning sickness, oh gosh, that would be terrible at this point, in case I get some um, um, nausea from the rides. Um, and on the other side, we actually have some blister pads that are quick and easy. Just slap them on to help protect your blisters. In our next bag, oh, and also on the inside, I keep a little tube of Neosporin just in case we get a cut and need to cover it. Our next bag are rain ponchos. Something about going to Florida is, is that you can see that there may be no rain expected. And in the afternoon, a sudden thunderstorm pops up and you are without. But instead of paying the $15 for a poncho inside the park, we just go ahead and invest $4 and have some little quick rain ponchos. Well, $4 for each. I mean, they're a dollar a piece, but I buy four for all of our family members so that I can have, um, we can have rain protection in case. And the week that we're going, it's expected to rain a little more. So we're probably going to stop by and just pick up a couple of dollar umbrellas from the Dollar Tree on our way to the airport. The next thing is, um, this is our kind of what I call our clean bag. Um, when you go to the parks, you have people coming from everywhere and there are germs everywhere. So inside the bag, <clears throat> we have Kleenex to wipe our noses. We have antibacterial wipes that are, or antiseptic wipes to help wipe down things like tray tables in the airplane, um, dinner tables uh, around the park, anything that we need to wipe. And then we also keep a bag of um, wet ones. Just there, just wet wipes to wipe down hands, stickiness, whatever we need. And our next bag is our snack bag where we have a Luna bar, a protein bar, some oatmeal bars, because I have teenagers who are hungry all the time and park food, nah, you don't need to eat that right now. Park food is really expensive to snack on. So I just try to make sure I have a few things that I can pull out at any time. And the last thing we have is my electronics bag. Um, inside I keep um, my two chargers. Um, one from, I'm assuming this is Mashy, but I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, it is a charger that can charge two devices at one time. I can get two to three charges on my phone in an afternoon. Um, here's the information about it. I'll link you down below. Um, I love this charger and it's handy to have that in case the kids um, run out of juice on their charger, they can always attach to mine if they need to. And the other one I have is this little monster credit card size. Well, they say credit card size, but it's a little bigger than that. Charger that's pretty much just good for one charge for my phone, but it's kind of like the last ditch I've run out of power on everything else. I can toss this on. Universal does have um, 
although they're not all over the park, there is one or two places where you can leave your phone and have it charged in a machine for a price. And I'm not really fond of leaving my phone because of course that'll be the time that I find the most awesome thing to take a photo of. So I need to make sure that I have enough charge with me all the time. And the last thing is my lens cloth that I can use on my glasses and on my, uh, my camera. And the last thing that you don't see in the video because I've got, I'm using it right now, is um, I run off a of Samsung um, Galaxy 7 Edge. Um, I love this camera. I love this phone because it works so much like a camera. And then I use a little Gorillapod tripod with a um, cell phone mount to help me walk around the park and kind of keep a better, uh, not so shaky photo. Oh, and Magic Hand is showing me I left off my wires to connect my charger to my phone. Um, that, that's it. We keep a really sparse bag. I don't like to carry too much because we end up never using it. And I don't want to have to carry more and keep track of more than I want. So, um, follow, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching the video and I hope it gave you some ideas. In the comments below, tell me what you keep in your park bag that you think is really important. Um, that way, in case I've forgotten something, I can have, a, have it on the list for next time. Um, you can follow me on uh, here on the channel. Just hit the subscribe button below. Then uh, you can also follow me as Geekish Family on Instagram as, as my blog account and Wandering Snape as the Harry Potter account. And all the information that's in the video, I'll link below to the blog so you can do a printout of it if you'd like to. Thanks for watching. See you next time.